Hello everybody. Happy Saturday. I'm just getting ready. I've got a pharmacy party today. I oops, I love doing these parties. Um, it's just a fun time for people to get to come and try out the products in person. Um, we always have a good time, so I'm excited about that. So I wanted to hop on here and do some makeup with you guys first. Um, I didn't think this through. I should have done my makeup before I packed up my stuff. So, cause I have a, um, like a rolling four drawer cart thing that I keep all my makeup in. Cause you know, I've got a lot of it and I packed up all my stuff already. So you're going to have to bear with me. It's going to take me a bit longer to find the stuff I'm looking for cause it's in a box. So I'm going in right now with my primer. Always, always start with primer. This is our BFX Pro Primer. It's the silicone paste one. Um, I like both of them, but I feel like this one works a little better for me. So I kind of go back and forth between the two. I'm, both of them are kind of like partially gone. So I'm trying to swap them out because I, I need to order some more, but I just haven't yet. So. <clears throat> If y'all, as you're watching this, be sure to comment. Let me know that you watched it. Um, I always like to know who my audience is. So today, I'm going to use our VFX Pro. This is a full coverage foundation. Um, it's my favorite of our full coverage. CC cream is what I wear on an everyday basis, but... The VFX Pro for when I'm doing something a little extra. So, go in with that. So, I just put dots all over my brush. Dab it everywhere. This brush isn't a pharmacy brush, but I love it. It's a Real Techniques brush. It's a foundation brush. And... I love it. So I cleaned my sponge so that I'd have it to use this afternoon at the party. So I didn't want to use it. Now, usually I just use a sponge. Um, to me, the brush, if you're looking for more full coverage, to me, the brush is better for that. The sponge to me doesn't, um, it doesn't give as much of a full coverage, but I love the sponge. That's what I typically use, so. But today we're going with the brush. Um, I think I may have already said this, but our VFX Pro is good for all skin types. Um, my skin is definitely oily. Um, and I like the Stay Matte, but I think I still prefer the VFX Pro. A lot of girls that have oily skin love the stay mat that's what um that's their go-to they found that they love that and i like it too um but the v of x pro is definitely my preference over stay mat but if you're really into that whole matte look and i don't like a lot of shine but i just throw in some of our perfecting powder or transparent powder and I don't have any shine so that's just what works for me everybody's different everybody has different preferences with their makeup but pharmacy has something for everyone so so we got that on see how great the coverage is that's the this is shade 00 this is our lightest shade Usually, um, in the summer, I'm 01, but right now I'm having to go back to 00 because your girl is white. So next I'm going to go in with our concealer. Love our liquid concealers. This is the lightest shade. Um, and it's really the only one I use. I don't use concealer much for my actual face i use it for brightening my under eyes which is why i do this you want to draw it away 
from your eyes and I just use it more for that and for highlighting. Um, obviously we have a bunch of different shades. You can find ones that match your face, but this one is the one I recommend for pretty much anybody that wants it for brightening the under eyes because it's our lightest shade and it's just going to help brighten those under eyes. <clears throat> Until I joined pharmacy, I never realized that like different undertones of concealer helped with different whatever what your goal is depends on the undertones of the concealer so like orange undertones are good for certain things purple uh the pink are good for other things depending on what you're trying to cover up like whether it be dark circles whether it be bruising if you have a bruise or um whatever it may be the undertone of the concealer matters for that and I never knew that um, but this is the one that I use, but we have one, we have several different colors that you can choose from. Let's see, where is my, I'm here. So I'm going to go in, usually y'all see me use my 3-in-1 face palette. Today I'm going to go in with our Sunkiss bronzer. Love this bronzer. Super pigmented. You're just gonna go in, follow from the top of your ear, blend that in, it makes your face appear more narrow. Who doesn't want that? You're just kind of creating like shadows on your face to make your face appear slim and stuff. So that's all I'm doing. Just throwing a little bit of that on. It's really pretty. Um, and you can just see how it like makes your face come in. Um, love our Sunkiss bronzer. And this thing is huge. I've had it since I started with pharmacy, which was in August. And y'all can tell like it looks like it's hardly even been used. You can still see the indent of the sun that's on it. Like, Granted, I do use my 3-in-1 palette a lot. But the thing about bronzer is it really doesn't take much, so a little goes a long way. And so it lasts, which is fantastic. Again, usually I have my stuff just like easily accessible. Should have thought this through. I did not. So I'm gonna go in with our transparent. Usually I do this before my bronzer, but I forgot. And I'm just putting it the places I tend to get oily and the places I put that concealer just to set that concealer. Next, for my highlight and blush, I'm going to use our terracotta. It is so pretty. You'll be able to see. Like, it gives shine. You can t see that. Gives shine and blush all at the same time. I love this one. Um, we have a few different shades in it, but this one is the one that I have and I love it. So it just gives the look of a highlight and a blush all at the same time. So that's a good one. Let's see. Sorry y'all stuff but if you are interested in a party let me know um my hostesses they get one free item for hosting the party and then for every hundred dollars spent at their party they get to choose from our like 12.90 and under list and they get an item for every $100 spent. So, definitely a way to get some pretty things without having to pay full price. I mean, honestly, our prices are still, and I'm not just saying this because I sell it, our prices are already very reasonable. Um, <clears throat> but, 
it's a way to really get to try some things without having to pay full price for them. So if any of y'all are interested, all you gotta do is shoot me a message. Um, y'all provide, who, the host provides the space um, for the party. But other than that, and they, most people provide snacks and stuff. Other than that, um, I do everything else. I bring all the supplies, take all the orders, and then I'll place it like a big bulk order. And when everything comes in, I will deliver it to them. So it's a lot of fun. We always have fun. Um, I always have tons of samples and I take all my products for display so that people can see the stuff before purchasing it. Um, which a lot of people like to do. So yeah, I enjoy doing them. I also do online ones, but the in-person ones are so fun because I don't know, it's just fun to be in person with everybody. And it's nice for the customers as well because they're able to actually like feel the stuff um, on, on their skin and not just take someone else's word for it, so. So I'm going in right now to just fill in my brows. This is actually our Warm Taupe eyeshadow. Um, I have, actually no it's not, it's our brow powder. I thought I grabbed my Warm Taupe, oh well. Um, this is our light brown brow powder. Um, so it is the one that I use. Actually, typically I use my Warm Taupe eyeshadow because it's just a little bit lighter. Um, Cause the next shade down in our brow powder is blonde and my eyelashes definitely aren't blonde, but I still feel like the light brown is a little too dark for me, but we're gonna go with it. And that's all I do. I just fill them in. I want to get, we have some clear brow gel and I want to get some because it helps hold your lashes in place. So now I'm going in with that same brow powder because it's darker than our warm taupe and I want something a little more bold. I'm going in with that right now. Y'all can see how dark it is. Like, it's pretty dark. I'll show you the difference between it and our warm taupe. I really need to like step up my eyeshadow game. Like I need to get some more colors and stuff and do like some different things because I feel like I always do the same thing. This is a little different because it's going to be a little darker, a little more bold. So you can see like the difference. Like this is our warm taupe eyeshadow. This is our light brown um, brow powder. So there definitely is a difference. And I just, I'm going to go a little bit darker today than I usually do. Warm taupe I wear pretty much every day. It's a good like everyday neutral brown color so this is a little bit darker and I'm gonna go in this is our golden shot cream shadow our cream shadows are super pretty I'll show it to you on my hand I don't know how well y'all can see that it's really pretty so I'm gonna go in with that
So y'all can see it's a really pretty gold color. I'm just kind of putting it like from the corner of my eyelid back. Just trying to blend those colors together. You never want to bring a dark color too close in. Um, so. That's that. Our cream shadows are really nice. Um, they go on very smoothly. They do not crease, which is kind of something that happens with a lot of cream shadows. They, um, some of them crease really bad and these don't. So I'm going to go in with our satin ribbon eyeshadow and I'm just going to kind of like highlight my brow. You can see like, it, I just like having that separation and I'm going to bring it down the corner of my eye as well. I like this um, just brightening right there under my brow um, between the brow and the eyeshadow. I just think it gives it a more like defined look. It's really pretty. So. add a little bit more dark to this side because trying to make it even that's not it what did I do with it I am not used to this guys I usually have everything like set out like I said in my drawers I had my drawers divided like by this is it yeah this is it have my drawers divided like the top one is my face stuff the second one is my eye stuff pretty much in the order that I do my makeup in I'm weird I have it all like divided out and so I really should have thought this through and not um, put our back, boxed everything up until, until I got done, but it's okay. So, if y'all usually watch me, you know, it's a little bit bolder, not really anything crazy, but it's bolder than what I usually do. This is just like a blending brush to just blend all those shades in together so that they don't look crazy or anything. So now I'm gonna go in. This is our metallic green eyeliner and it's so pretty. Um, I'll show it to you guys once I put it on. It's hard to use the phone for like really stuff that you have to concentrate on. So, so you can see it's got like gold in it. It's got flecks of gold in it. It's um dark green. It's so pretty. I honestly prefer it over black. I have the black one too. Sometimes I feel like black's a little too harsh for me. I feel like I need to start trying like brown eyeliners because honestly I usually don't wear eyeliner just because for that reason because I feel like black's a little harsh on me. So it's a really pretty color. I don't know how well y'all can tell, but it's got like shimmer in it. I love these and they're very easy to use. I've always been scared of liquid eyeliners because they definitely take a little more control and I wasn't very experienced with liquid eyeliners, but this one has worked really, these have worked really well for me. The brush to me is really easy to control. So other thing I'm going to do, I do not put eyeliner on my bottom eyelid a lot of people do but I take a brown 
Again, probably because black's too harsh for me, I need to get a brown eyeliner. And we have a really pretty brown metallic eyeliner. And I want to try it. Um, so I just take it and bring the brown eyeshadow, like, under my eyelid. And it gives just a little bit of... A tip for you guys who have, like, smaller eyes. And even people who don't have smaller eyes that just, like, want to do it. A tip is get white eyeliner and if you put that on your lower lid it really makes your eyes appear bigger and brighter. Um, pharmacy has a white eyeliner and I haven't gotten it yet but I want to because it is it, it just makes it really pretty. It just gives your eyes like I don't know it just brightens your eyes kind of like how concealer under your eyes does. That's basically what it's doing. So this is our Zen mascara I always show you guys this see how the top has shorter bristles bottom has longer bristles you're gonna go in with the the shorter bristles first and just kind of give your lashes it, it separates them kind of and just makes them full and then I go back in with the longer ones for a second coat. We have like six different mascaras. So I promise whatever your need in a mascara is, we've got. Our Zen is actually our most affordable and honestly it's one of the most popular because it is a really good mascara. Lashes are like my thing, like I need lashes. So that's one coat with the Zen, with the shorter. So now we'll flip it and go in with the longer side. It just really helps lengthen and fan out those lashes. Difference between that and that? Crazy. I always have to look at it in the light to make sure I have it turned the right way. That's our Zen. It's our most affordable mascara. And it is fantastic. One of these days I'm going to have a better setup to where like my mirror is here so y'all can see what I'm doing the whole time I'm doing it. But for now, we make do with what we have. So That is the mascara. What do we have now? We need to do lips. Cannot forget lips. They are essential. I'm trying to think. I think we're going to do sweet cherry and maybe make it kind of ombre. You want to see some ombre with 205, which is brave. So these two together. I'll show it to you guys. I usually don't wear dark lip colors either because really I only go to church and work. 
but these are liquid matte lipstick and they are amazing. I wiped the brush off to just so that I can outline a little better and then I'll go back in. I have more trouble with dark colors. Like I have trouble staying in the lines. <laughs> So I have to make it more like buildable. Sorry y'all, these dark colors are one thing I cannot talk and do at the same time. They will get on your teeth, so check your teeth before you go anywhere. Just so you know. All right, we'll let that dry for a minute and then I'll show you guys how to do the ombre with this. This is number 10, Sweet Cherry, and it's just a really pretty like plum color. It's pretty, so let that dry. <laughs> All right, so now we're just gonna take a little bit of this and like, I just dab it like right in here with the brush and then I'll take my finger sometimes I have to go back in with the dark I'll see that And then I have to go back in with the dark after and touch it up because sometimes I get a little overboard with the light color just because I don't want to not have enough of it. But you can see it's a pretty ombre look. Let's just take a little bit of this dark. I use my finger. kind of dab it in to so see it's easy two colors that's all you got to do so if you have any questions be sure to comment let me know you watch if you have any questions send me a message be happy to answer them thanks for watching guys bye